So have you got an interest in astronomy then? I do have a genuine interest in astronomy. I've got books on it, I've got several telescopes, never really got them working. You've got several telescopes? Many telescopes. How many have you got? At least three quite big ones. Three? They're either broken or I'm stupid. Even the moon, sometimes I see it for a second, yeah. but then I've gone past it and I run out of energy. I'm too old to do this sort of thing on my own. It's shocking, isn't it? Oh my it's god, this is it! This is my telescope. This is your pride and joy. How much did it cost? Well, I don't know because my wife bought it for me as a birthday present. But not realising I was too lazy or stupid to actually commit to making it work. So, you never used it? I have used this. It's got a device on to yes, zzz, zzz, yes. zzz. Why have you not used that part? Because it's difficult. <laughs> it's too hard, is it? It's quite hard. Oh. I like to be able to do <laughs> I don't want to read a book on it. I want to get out of the box and do it. And it's them. not designed properly to work like that. You've got three of these. Yes, sir. And with a bit of practice and a bit of knowledge, you're going to see some incredible sights. But I knew there'd be a but. You need to kind of go back to the beginning and start off on the easier stuff first. With the binoculars? And possibly even the eye. I've done that. Let's get outside. So we just use Come a naked on. eye? Outside. What's the point of having you if you're just going to... I could do that on my own. It's dark. And, and cold. And we now appear in black and white. Wow. Why and that's, that? that's so our eyes can adapt to the dark. We've turned all the lights off, and this is a special low light camera that we're now using so we can see stuff. Now, can you recognise anything in the sky tonight? Um, I see stars. Yes. Um, can I draw your attention to the left, just up there? Can you see that bright star? Gallifrey. Gallifrey, not quite, very close. Is that an actual, that's just a star though, isn't it? Gallifrey doesn't exist, I'm afraid you say to say. That. We just I'm don't have telescopes say, powerful enough to see maybe that. Maybe that's what it is. That is Jupiter. No way. The largest planet in the solar system. I wouldn't have known that was a planet. I would have just thought that was a star and I would have walked on by it. And ignored it. Yeah. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to show you Jupiter through a telescope. This is what Ooh, I've been Oh, what you came here for. Now if I can get you to hold this genuinine astronomer's torch. Um, so because so it belongs to you. Because <laughs> it belongs to me. Now this isn't like your swizzy, all singing, all dancing electronic telescope, but it's an ideal telescope for beginners. Um, something like this sets you up back under quid. Wow, bargain. So it's, it's bigger than yours. It's an 8-inch reflecting telescope. Wow. Got a mirror down the end there, which is the thing that collects all the light from the stars and objects you want to look at. Yeah. And it's mounted on this Dobsonian telescope mount, which makes it really easy to move around the sky. It just twists left and right and up and down. And it's as simple as that. It couldn't be easy. Oh. So, shall we have a look at Jupiter? Please do. You want to. You can, you uh, so I'm very keen to see something. We'll just get that lined up. And... There we have it, your first ever live okay. view of Jupiter, the king of the planets. Oh, wow, well, yeah, there it is. I can see uh, Jupiter looking bigger than it did with the naked eye, but not that much bigger, I've got to be honest with you, and some blobby stars or something next to it. So that's good. Th those stars are moons of Jupiter. Ju we've got one moon orbiting around the Earth. Yes. Jupiter has got 63 moons, yes. but you're, you can see four, and those four were discovered by Galileo back in 1610. Good Lord. Do you know the names of Jupiter's moons? Well, I know our moon is called Alfie. <laughs> I think... I can there. see where this is going. <laughs> I think, is that grumpy? Grumpy, yes. Sleepy, right. yeah. dopey. Yeah. But there's, the ones you can see are Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto. And Gallifrey. And Gallifrey. Yeah. That's in the other direction. How does that make you feel knowing you're now looking at something that Galileo saw 400 years ago? Well, it's wondrous, of course. It's wondrous to see. But at the same time, I feel a little uh, embarrassed that it's taken me so long, what with modern technology and how easy it is to actually get to do something that I wanted to do. <laughs> when Galileo did it on his own, presumably with a couple of plates and a tin can. Not far off that. Tell you what, I can't believe how fast it's moving. It's almost left the range of my vision. It's incredible. So that's how fast we're spinning. Yes, it is. It's le as we speak now, it's gone. Now it's, it's gone. It's gone now, is it? It's gone. Isn't that incredible? That's well, amazing, you've done incredible it? for you. You've done this I've before, done it but it's before, incredible it's for probably... me. Now, I was back again by the wonders of modern science. You <sighs> well, have to get back moved, down of course, again. Of course, if you chase it, again, <laughs> if you chase the planet, you can keep seeing it. See it now. Where's another one? 